Are you not a big fan of doing interviews? As long as I'm not talking about myself, it's fine. Well, I wasn't actually aware that there was a um, mid-season draft until I got a phone call from, I think it was Blair Hartley, and he asked me if I wanted to uh, take Marlon in for a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, that was the first time, and um, yeah, I said that'd be fine as long as it wasn't too long. Um, but yeah, that's how I first uh, found out about Marlon. Yeah, he was very quiet, uh, as am I, so it was kind of a good match. There wasn't too much conversation going on in the household, which uh, I think we both liked. Yeah, obviously Blair let me know um, about his past and the jail and stuff like that. Um, and I was just, um, I was just super proud of the footy club for um, picking him up and giving him, a, giving him a second chance. Different backgrounds and um, probably didn't, both haven't taken the easy road to get where we are. Um, so I could definitely relate. There were certainly three good contenders that could play that spot. Um, I was certainly pushing for Marlon. Um, he'd won the best on ground the week before. Obviously, it would have been a great story, but he deserved it. Well, I think it was Thursday afternoon, and I kept going into Dimmer's office going, is he playing or what? And um, Dimmer's like, well, I don't know, should he? I said, yeah. But the fact of the matter is, we put you in the 22. <laughs> You're going to play your first game, brother? Not a bad game to play. Congratulations. <laughs> He was pretty shocked. He took a big, deep breath, and yeah, it was a really special moment, and I'm um, glad I was a part of it. I actually think I was on the bench, and I remember, um, yeah, I remember the spin, and the, the crowd just erupted, and um, he kicked it inside 50. Um, but uh, again, that wasn't the only moment that he had Grand Final Day. There were so many um, awesome moments, and. There's no doubt, I feel that uh, he certainly gave us a spiritual lift on uh, grand final day. Oh, something that really um, I really admired was he used to just jump on the tram and go into the city and just go for a cruise around. Um, and we'd just talk in the car and, you know, he'd mentioned that he'd help out the homeless people when he went, went in there. Um, and he was just grateful for everything that he, that he had. And, um, yeah, so I really admire that about him. You know, people make mistakes in life and um, this story shows that you can change and turn your life around. People are quick to um, knock you off, but I think, yeah, life's all about getting second chances and becoming a better person. And Marlon's done that and to be rewarded, I think, um, I think that's, that's what, uh, what's special about it and it should, should happen more often. <laughs>